Hey, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be working on flipping this little Boston Whaler over and getting a closer look at the bottom. Uh, there's some issues there that need addressing, um, like along the keel. Looks like some of the gel coat is kind of rubbed off. And I'm uh, just going to get a closer look of it and, you know, apply some gel coat where it's needed, any repairs that might be needed. And uh, so it should be a good day. It's 27 degrees, it's freezing, and uh, thankfully we got a nice warm shop to work in.
bolt must have hit here or something. Something. Bolt off that trailer.
Okay, I'm wrapping up the uh, repairs on the bottom. I uh, just did a quick uh, buffing on it and I'll show you how it turned out. So this is what I used. I used the green bottle first and then I actually used the, uh, the blue bottle second. Uh, the green bottle is actually more aggressive and uh, the blue bottle is just just a basic compound for uh, lightly oxidized and it has wax in it so but it, it turned out okay um, you know for what it is 1984 does have some uh, few little scratches still in it. But overall, I'm satisfied with, with how it turned out. I actually wasn't even expecting to flip this thing over. And uh, my buddy Steven was, suggested it, and uh, so we did. Hey, the project's really been flying. We've made a lot of progress in a short amount of time, and a lot of that has to do with my buddy Steven. He's really helped me out a lot, and um, I really appreciate it because um, I wouldn't be this far along with the boat had it not been for his help and expertise. So um, we do have a motor for the boat, and I'll be showing that to you later and we're kind of entering into the next phase now that we have the hull sealed and fixed and gel coated and polished uh, it's time to move on to some interior work and that's been kind of a, a dilemma for me because i've had some difficulty trying to figure out what direction i want to take the boat in and how i want it set up now I will tell you that I do really like the Whaler Striper console. That's the fiberglass console that um, is really hard to find. Um, they're just, they're impossible to find. So um, what we've decided to do is build a mold and using some measurements that I found on whalercentral.com. Thank you, whalercentral.com. We've been able to recreate uh, the console. Now we've built this mold and um, we're gonna build our own whaler striper console and, and here it is. Now, the mold is not done, obviously. Um, we're still constructing it. This is a very smooth MDF board. And um, in the radiuses there, you can see uh, what that is is Bondo so that we get all of our corners just right and um, the next process will probably be another little skim coat of the bondo to work out any little imperfections and then we'll paint it with this primer duratec and then once we have that in we'll start shooting gel coat and laying up glass and you know, that's basically where we are I've never done this before. My buddy Steven has, and he has a lot of knowledge when it comes to fiberglass work, building molds, and you know stuff like that. So it should turn out pretty good. The, uh, the, transom, the transom turned out great, and uh, I would imagine that this console should be looking pretty good too. So uh, definitely stay tuned and uh, see how this thing turns out.